Hello lovers, back again with some more vintage glam inspired looks. Today we're going to show you how to do this hair with some soft curlers. And I did a simple retro makeup look and how I did that using powder and airbrush products, so stick around. Hi guys, so this is how long my hair is now and I'm going to do some soft curlers and show you how I do that. I absolutely love them, I thought they were super easy. And then I'm just going in and doing some airbrush makeup. I've been suffering from these nickel allergies, so I've been MIA for a really long time. So those of you who are new, thanks so much for joining my channel, I appreciate your support. And um, yeah, I'm using Dynair and I'm doing some airbrush. I'm going in with 117 Soft Glow. For those of you who know airbrush or who are interested in it, um, it's really great coverage. It lasts long. It's it it just it's I just love using it for my foundation. Um, 117 is a little lighter than what I usually use because I felt like my 135 was just getting too dark. And my skin was looking muddy. I've been dealing with a lot of allergies, so dark circles around the eyes. Everything was just looking too heavy. So I lightened up my foundation, and I'm going in with a 106 soft glow to add some pops of brightness around the mouth and eyes to get rid of some of that discoloration and that darkness. And be previous, I started out with my usual MAC NW25 foundation or concealer. I like to put a concealer and just go over those areas so I have extra protection and extra coverage and it just brightens everything up. Yeah, so I've just been like trying to get through this nickel allergy, figuring out what I can eat, what I can't eat. One minute I'm tired, one minute I'm dizzy, so I started drinking Keegan water, which really helped the acidity levels and just kind of each week it gets better. And so I just got tired of just waiting around to get better and I'm like, it's time to do some hair and makeup and show you guys how I do it. So it also keeps me motivated and I think if you do your hair and makeup, um, it just makes you feel better. So I just really wanted to start doing these videos again and I hope you guys enjoy it. If there's anything you wanna see, or you want more detail on something, just let me know down below. I do read all the comments and I, I appreciate you getting on here and joining. So yeah, so now I'm going in with my 106 and I'm just brightening up around the mouth and eyes. Um, nothing too exciting, I know. But uh, I do a circular motion with my Dynair gun and that just gives me a nice even finish. And with airbrush makeup as foundation, it has a long wear. It goes on really light, but you can build it light to heavy and it doesn't feel heavy like traditional liquid makeups. And that's one reason why I love it. So I'm just gonna go in and fix the Betty bangs, um, curl them under a little bit um, so I don't look too crazy while we're doing the hair. And just comb those out so now I don't look totally crazy. So let's get to it. My hair is extremely long right now, but these curlers have been great. They easily curl my hair and I can do, I don't have to leave them overnight. I basically dampen my hair. So I've already dried my hair, but it's damp. I roll these in and be careful or be sure to tuck in the very ends. Otherwise they come out very straight. You can always take a curling iron and just kind of curl those and pop them if you want. But I just basically split my hair in half because it's the easiest to work with it that way. And then I'm doing less than one inch sections because I found that more effective. I found the curls were nicer and they held longer. And they have wire inside so it just bends and holds. And if I really wanted to make this like hold like super strong, I would do half Loda body and half water in a solution. And I might do a video on that just to show you. These are my fast, easy, quick ones that I could do every day after my dog walk. And you know, if I don't wanna to spend too much time on my hair, I just roll my hair and leave it for like however, like 10 minutes or however long, maybe five minutes. And then um, if I wanna pop in extra curls, I can, or I just leave it the way it is and go. And it gives me that retro vibe and I love that. And it's super easy to do and anyone can do this with any length hair, any length or any texture. So once again, we're gonna tuck those ends in and roll them up. I got these on Amazon and I bought two packs cause they were so cheap and I have a lot of hair. And I got the leopard ones cause I just thought they were adorable. You can get them in different colors with polka dots. They're easy to travel with because they're so soft. You can basically just throw them in your suitcase. So if I was like taking my time with this, I would probably, uh, so like I said, use a hairspray or use a lot of body and water to make the hair a little stiffer. 
Um, but like I said, I found these held all day. So this worked for me and I wasn't trying to do a super structured curl with this. I wanted it loose but full on my ends because my hair is quite long at the bottom right now. And we're just gonna go right in the perimeter. And once again, I'm splitting that up so it's a little less than half an inch. And that just held really well. That did not take long to do. Uh, as I've sped up the video, just so it wouldn't drive you guys nuts, I'm gonna do some talking videos and some like this where I talk over just to see what works and what's the what people like and what's easiest, you know, all that stuff. So that one was a little loose, so you can just go back in and just re-curl it and, and tighten it. And I mean, that, I don't even have to go up that high. I could have done it halfway because I'm just doing like Betty hair. But because my hair is so long, it's a little heavier, and this will just help the curl hold longer. So once again, I am gonna just dampen it a little bit. It felt like it got a little dry. And I got that bottle from Sally's, and it's great for spraying. It's got a nice nozzle on it where it does a nice even spray. And you can hold it and then just keep spraying. And so I'm gonna go around and do the other side here. A little messy, but it works. I only really want the curls at the bottom, so I don't worry too much at the top. And my hair is so thick that you can sculpt it and wave it and whatever, and it's it's gonna be fine. But you could go in there and just like really define the sections if you wanted to. But I wanted to show you how to do a fast kind of old Hollywood inspired look. I really loved it. I thought it was, these curlers are great. I mean, it's so easy to use. This does not take long at all to go around your head. And I have a lot of hair. So tuck those ends in, keep going, girl. We're almost at the finish. Once again, just a little less than half an inch or less than an inch. I found that more effective. And we're almost there. Just these front pieces. I feel like they're the most important pieces. I finally grew them out. I had some really bad layers in there. Um, and I love it now, so I'm able to do a little more waves. And then I went to a hairstylist out in Honolulu and she's like, just add in some clip and extensions. So I'm gonna do a video with that when I wanna show you how to do the waves. It just adds so much more body. But like I said, for every day, this is good. This is a lot of hair. Okay, last piece. And just go in and grab that hair, feel it out. Don't be scared to use a ton of rollers. I mean, get two packs, it was like $9.99. I'll put the link down below, so you, if you wanna get those same ones, you can. I thought they were great, super soft, and white, like I said, a wire inside, so they bend. There we go, easy. Okay, a couple flyaways, don't worry about that. Like I said, you can take a curling iron and pop those in. You want just that body and that fullness. And let's tweak those bangs. I'm just using a little Conair mini flat iron for my bangs. And I try to curl them under just to get rid of some of those jagged edges. And then now we're going to start the makeup. So I got these pack of lashes from Amazon and I thought they were great. So far they've been the right width. I wanted to get in, uh, get out of you doing super long lashes because I wear glasses sometimes and I just found like they were hitting the lenses. So I got one that was lighter and really instead used my liner to, you know, you have, if you have a thick brow and, and bigger eyes, then you don't need actually super big lashes. They do look beautiful and they're pretty, but I wanted smaller lashes for day to day. And I wanted a more simple look for my old Hollywood glamour kind of vibe. So this one I would say is kind of like a medium, if anything. I've done or I've used the smaller ones. I'm gonna go in and just trim those ends. They're just a little too long in the corners and on the end. And I just wanna like, I want a smaller fit. I don't want it to be huge eyelashes. I want them to be more subtle, almost almost natural or a natural vibe. So I'm just gonna go in and use my duo glue. I like the blue and white tube. If you've seen my other videos, you know that. And I just paint it in with an end of anything. Let those dry for about 60 seconds so they get nice and tacky. I'm gonna go in with my wet and wild liner. Nice big mistake, that's okay. Cause I'm gonna do a thick little line and I just follow it and I go up and then I don't go crazy because I'm going to put lashes on and then I'm going to go over it again with the liner and I find for me that's the best way to put on or to do a cat eye and then I'll also stretch out the lid and fine tune that line and that's my trick to getting a perfect cat eye just holding the edge of your eye pulling it slightly so you can just smooth that line in the inner corner and even it out in width on the edge so I'm just gonna pop those babies in. As you can see, they're not super huge, not super tiny, but they're just like perfect, and I love that. I can build them with mascara or leave them as is. 
And they're long enough that they look glamorous, but they don't hit my eyeglasses. There we go. We're gonna pull that corner of the eye and just smooth that inner corner. Just pop that back on. Yeah. And then blend in that, those corners. Even it out. And that's my little trick to getting a perfect cat eye and it's super quick. Just get used to it. And don't yank your eye. You just lightly pull up just to smooth it out, pull your lid even. So you don't get those jagged edges with your liner and you don't get unevenness with your liner. And the Wet n Wild liquid liners are great and they're only $5. I love them. They're my favorite. Sometimes they get little hairs and they split and that's when I throw them out. They never seem to dry out though. I never have to throw it out because it's, there's no much or, or there's no ink there. So now I'm going in with my blush. I'm using Milani Coral. It's a really bright orange and I'm going in higher into my temples and my cheekbones. Um, and I'm using a just kind of a softer brown on my, my inner, my where it crevices so I can create some definition. So I've been going higher with my blush and higher on the cheekbone with it and evening it out. So actually adding more and doing fuller circles. And it's creating a nice like even look with my blush. Whereas before I felt like it was just too much like of a streak. So I'm gonna go in with some highlighter. This is an old MAC lighter, highlighter. You can use any highlighter. And I'm just doing like where the sun would hit where I would have a highlight. And you can sometimes see it if you look closely on the top of your cheekbones, tips of your nose, just above your lip. And I'm gonna go in there and just do a little bit more 106 just to get that coverage around my mouth and lips. I, like I said, I've been suffering from allergies. So if I was to title this video other than Soft Hollywood Glam, I would title it How to Do Makeup for Allergies. Big dark circles around my eyes, breakouts. So it's really been a challenge and I've pushed through it and this color combo with my foundation has really worked in terms of brightening my face and getting rid of those dark circles around my eyes. And I don't have a lot of dark underneath my eyes, so I'm not that girl who does the orange or the red underneath to hide stuff, even on my around my mouth. I have discoloration. I've been using the Shiseido um, spot treatment. It's been amazing. That has worked and it's brightened everything. But when you have allergies, your whole face changes. So like I said, I've gone in and just brighten and lift everything and I don't have to do extensive makeup like the orange concealers and all that. I just do a nice solid NW25 with a pink tone on my yellow skin. And then I'm gonna go with the mascara that is the MAC little pigment one and just pop in and just smooth and blend your real lashes with the fake ones, nothing heavy. I wanna keep everything really fresh looking and light and that is my Velveteen uh, Red gloss and I'm going to go in with a brighter orange Maybelline for the center. So this liner is Cherry by MAC and I just like to do a nice shape. I like to go a little bit over on the top so I just round it out and just give it a nice defined shape. Fill it in a little bit to create some longevity in the color. Then I'm going to go in with the Velveteen and I'm going to, it's quite like liquidy and quite rich so I didn't need much and that lasted all day. Until I take it off, it does not come off. I'm gonna go in there and fine tune those lips. And then I'm gonna add in the Maybelline, the brighter orange, it kind of like a brighter red, just so I have some depth and definition in my lips. I like to use different color reds on my lips, and I know that's a classic trick in old Hollywood glamour movies, and Marilyn Monroe did it. So this is just like a fast, easy one. If I was to do it for film, I would be more detailed and do like really minute things with it. And we'll save that for another video. But I love it and I love creating the two tones and it's all about the ombre and the depth and definition in your face, whether it's daytime makeup or it's for photography and you wanna do, hide those shadows and lights. So I'm gonna go in and put my beauty mark with my Wet n Wild liner and that will hold all day. And then I'm gonna go in with my NARS Crystal Powder and I just do this underneath the eye with a beautiful soft brush and that sets my makeup underneath my eye, I have no problems with running and then around my mouth and chin, because that's where my problem and my discoloration is. And then I'm gonna go in through the temples because I had some mass breakouts from hives and all that, but they are starting to heal. And so I just like to even out that white. Do not powder your whole face. That is the worst thing to do for film and for every day. It just looks too cakey. I try not to put it on my nose too much. And then I'm gonna go in and just smooth in my lids. I have a little concealer. I'm using a Shiseido palette that I just love. I'm gonna use some neutral, nice colors to do some blurred creases. I'm gonna do a soft gray. And it helps to just kind of blur if you have any cakiness on your, with your foundation in your eye or anything's pilled or gathered. And it happens, heat, um, sometimes you spray a little too heavy. 
So you just created a very subtle definition, a little cut crease, easy to do for every day, a really beautiful soft old Hollywood glamour look, vibing that old nostalgia. And then I'm just gonna clean up underneath the eyeliner so it's bright. I'm really working hard to keep everything bright and light around the eyes. And I think it's working. I'm loving this look. I hope you guys love it too. Click the thumbs up if you love this and um, subscribe. Click the bell for notifications on my latest videos if you wanna see more videos on hair and makeup, photography, glamour, just kind of retro vibes. All right, I'm loving it. It looks great. So now I'm gonna take my Denman brush and I was on the fence. I love when I just put, do the curlers and it's just curly. I love it like that. But then I also love the big waves. So I did a combination of both. Yes, girl, you're doing good. Okay, so my hair is still damp. Um, it's not super damp, it's drier than before. And it looks super dry, but my hair is still damp, so I didn't want to brush through everything. Oh, look at that curl, yeah, beautiful. I'm just gonna scrunch it, give it some volume. If I was to like really be uh, detailed with this, I would have clipped it and left it, and I have a hair bonnet, and so once again, I'm gonna do some more videos on that where I show you all my other tools. Oh, I love it, look at that. See how the end is still a little straight? That's from like those ends are really hard sometimes, but my hair is also extremely long. But you can take a curling iron. Sometimes when you brush it, it just blends in. So I wouldn't stress about all that. The whole point of this video is to give you a fast, easy, glamour look uh, using these great curlers. Look at all that curl. And I didn't do any product. That is just the curler. So if you have thin, fine hair, please use a lotto body mixed with water and a more structured, like please use some hairspray something. But I do have natural wave in my hair and if you have naturally curly hair, you're gonna have an easier time with curlers in general, any kind. So, but if you have thin hair and, you, and it's problematic, like I said, it is really important to use like some kind of primer ahead of time, a hairspray, lotto body with water. It'll just make your hair so solid. Okay, look at that, I love it. And see, I love wearing it just like that, but I'm like, okay, we need to smooth out some, some parts a little bit. So like I said, I'm gonna do kind of a half and half deal. And I'm gonna take my Denman brush and just kind of do the front, the top part a little bit. And see those stringy pieces, if you had that, you could just put take a 3 8 curling iron and do some cute little curls and wrap that around and spray and you're good for the day. You know, but like, so this, my hair is almost to my waist, my longest piece. Um, and this springs up my hair about three inches. So this takes up my hair quite a bit and then it'll drop a little, but it still holds. So medium to heavy hair, this is great for you. Fine, thin hair, you wanna use a prep. I use it, recommend a prep for anybody, but like I said, if you're on the go, this is great. You don't have to do too much to it. Yeah, those curls. And so we got a little frizz, but you can smooth that out. I have a Lucky Lady Balm that I use on my wigs and I use the, I use it uh, for my hair and it's great. Just You just need the very, like a tiny amount in your palms and just like take that top kind of frizz out. But like I said, we're gonna take the brush in a second here and just kinda, yay, we did it. Look how curly that is, adorable. Okay, so now we're just gonna smooth some of those parts out for our everyday glamour look. I know, I was so happy I got that out. Okay, I'm just gonna smooth that experiment and see how it looks. See, that really brushed it out. You didn't have to do much. So I'm just gonna do a soft brush. I want some of those curls. I like that definition. That's just my style. And then I'll probably spray that a little bit, bomb it, sculpt it. See how beautiful that is and so easy and it shrinks up your hair like three inches. So if you have really long hair, you can do this and it's fast and easy. It's not going to take you long to curl it and style it. Okay, hang on one sec. I forgot about this part. I think I went and got some, some, there I got it, my Lady Luck Balm and I got this uppercut powder. So you put it in between in your hairline and it creates volume and it's just like a powder you just sprinkle. And so I like to do that in the crown because I like a little volume to lift up so it doesn't feel so flat on top and so full at the bottom and it just kind of creates more of an even kind of, yeah, like just work it through and just soft. 
work those sections wherever you want to leave it curly leave it curly like that's my whole thing make it your style put your own signature on it like don't try and be what you know you'll stress yourself out work with what you got whatever your hair texture is like and what you're feeling for the day so you can see i'm going to smooth some of those ends and just curl them in look at that that's beautiful and just keep smoothing and just kind of like i'm wanting to maintain that curl in the, the like the end part middle to the end so I'll just keep using my balm and smoothing it. And then I'll add a little hairspray and set it. Look at that, it's gorgeous. I love it. I hope you like this video. Please put your comments down below. I had a blast making this video. I hope you like the new lighting and the new robe. My pajamas are by Glamour Goals and they're having a sale on the, the sets. They're gorgeous. You get the shirt, the pants, the dress, the robe. It's beautiful. It was perfect for the video. There we go. We're gonna add in a little teasing. I don't tease my hair too much but then I add in the powder and it just creates a little volume so it's not so flat all day. And then keep smoothing. I know I got some frizzies, I can't see them with all the lights when I'm filming, but there you go. Thanks so much guys, I enjoyed making this video. I hope this really helped you or gave you some ideas for creating some glamour looks that are easy to do every day. And let's get dressed and have fun. Thanks so much, love you guys. Oh my God, I forgot, I'm finishing this look off with some Mademoiselle Coco Chanel. Finish your look off with a gorgeous fragrance. There's nothing wrong with a beautiful soft fragrance to put you in the mood for everything. Life, work, play, whatever it is you're doing, have fun, complete. Keep playing, I could tweak all day and I'll also go into natural light and take a look at it to get those frizzies down. Perfect. Thanks so much guys, I hope you liked it. And those are all the, the sponge curlers and I just put them in this old body bag or this body wash bag that I had and they were perfect for travel. Look at that, easy to do. Thanks guys, leave your comments below.